What's up everybody, I'm your Stack Preston here, and today I'm going to be bringing to you guys some really awesome gameplay that we're going to be looking at today on the map Grind. So this is one of those DLC maps that they recently came out with, and I don't even know how to put my, my mind around this game because this, I don't know, I was just going for gold with the Shycom, and usually when I play ground war I don't really find too many kids that are really good so I was just kinda trying to get the last five headshots that I needed for my Shycom so you see me going around killing a bunch of kids like that but in this game this is going to be probably the most insane game that I've ever seen with such high kill streaks going on there's gonna be like at least 10 orbital VSATs in this game and it's pretty insane how many kill streaks we're gonna have going on we're gonna have like Three load stars, two warthogs, three swarms. Uh, uh, there's like more warthogs and shit. I don't even. There's just so much shit that's gonna be going on. It's gonna be crazy. So I decided that I was gonna friend these guys. So we paired up together, and we make an amazing like dream team. So it's pretty awesome when we play domination and ground war together. So I love the group of guys that I decided to put on is my my group. They're now my friends, and now we play together, and we like to play Domination and Ground War, and we just have this amazing dream team that we play. But today, I want to do the second episode of This Verts That, and in today's episode, we're going to be covering the two third perks, which is Extreme Conditioning and Dexterity. So you guys, at the end of this video, will be able to know which one's better and which one you should use and why you should use it right here was a pretty scary part for me because I didn't have any ammo so I had to kind of juke some kids out and knife them so that was really lucky but I'm gonna be doing some mad work with this sniper rifle surprisingly enough in the I think it's at the end of this round I'm gonna be doing some mad work and it was really sweet how many kill guys I got with this I got all the way up to my swarm with this so I get at least five kills I know that for sure so it's pretty awesome and I love the SVU now, and I think I'm going to be using it a lot more, actually, because the SVU was actually doing me a lot of work right here. This is the spot that I wanted to talk to you guys about today, but, all right, so extreme conditioning is a perk that you use if you're trying to run for longer distances, and it's great if you're playing some kind of objective game, like you're playing Domination is a good one, and the best thing to do with extreme conditioning is to basically run straight for B. Now, when you run straight for B with the extreme conditioning, extreme conditioning makes you run faster for the first time that you spawn. So right after you spawn, you're gonna run faster at that point. I don't really think it makes a difference when you're running, uh, like at any other time. Like sometimes you'll you'll run like a really long distance and then you'll like stop. It's kind of like how in Call of Duty when you're like jumping upwards sometimes your guy will jump really high up and then the second time you try to jump your guy will jump really low I don't know why they do that I really don't enjoy that I, I wish it was all equal so that kinda pisses me off the way that they change that so extreme conditioning really isn't what extreme conditioning is it says that you run for longer distances but really it's you run longer distance for the first time after you spawn so that's like usually right after you spawn you will start sprinting and then you'll lose it after however long the sprint is so that does get really annoying, and I'm not sure if it's really worth having, but I like having it right after I get out of the spawn, so I can go straight for B and cap B. Sometimes I'll do that in some of my gameplays, or I'll run straight to A, or I'll walk to A, and then I'll sprint to B. So that's a good tactic that I use to get some extra points, and it's definitely a good way to like get a lot of kills too, because there's not going to be many people expecting you to be at B if you just like sprint there automatically so you could have the the quick hits at B or you could die quickly at B so those are two ups and downs towards it but I wouldn't really use it if I was playing like team deathmatch or anything like that because team deathmatch really doesn't matter to have extreme conditioning on because everyone's just gonna be spawning on different sides of the map so kind of staying like passive aggressive and slowly around the map I think would be a lot better when playing team deathmatch but there's the other perk that I wanted to talk to you guys about today, which is being versed on, is the dexterity perk, which is the third perk. And basically what dexterity does is if you're sprinting, you're sprinting, you're sprinting, and then you stop sprinting. Oh my god, right here, right before I continue saying anything else, my controller disconnects, and I'm just like, shit, 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 what the hell, what the hell? And I'm so happy that my teammate just came out and saved my life, so 
I don't think this gameplay would have happened. It would have been a completely different outcome if I didn't have that extra kid to help me out because I just like came out and I was about to die, but my teammate saved me. But anyway, back to talking about dexterity. Dexterity is a really awesome perk if you're coming in real close close quarters with your enemies and stuff like that. It's definitely good if you're playing around tight quarters and stuff like that. So grind is not one of those maps that I'd really use dexterity on because grind has a lot of the curves in the quarter pipes and half pipes and stuff like that and the other sides of the map. But in grind it has a lot of curves so you can't really play the corners as well as you would play them in any other game mode. So I really wouldn't recommend dexterity on this map unless you're playing solely in the middle of the map. The outsides of the map really have a lot of uh, the circles and kind of rounded off edges. So it's really not a place to use dexterity. So extreme conditioning would be a great thing to use while playing on grind. But dexterity is going to make you whip your gun up faster. So it's great for SMGs like if you have a laser sight on. It definitely complements the laser sight while using it. So if you're any using any SMG or if you have like an assault rifle or something like that and you have a laser sight on, it definitely complements your SMG and it complements your assault rifle, complements your LMG, whatever you have on. It's really nice. Right there, I don't know why, but for some reason my load star was up for maybe a total of like 10 seconds. So that was one of the things that really pissed me off in this game and I really thought I was going to die. I didn't know how well I was doing until the end of the game. So I did get a lot of kills. This gameplay is going to add up to 44 and 2. But my recommendation to you guys is to use dexterity because you're going to be using dexterity every time you get into a gunfight where you have to whip up your gun real quick. Whereas in using extreme conditioning, you're going to be using it only about once. And I really don't think it works every time you sprint. So I really don't recommend putting it on. And you really won't notice the difference. But you do notice the difference when using dexterity. So that's one of the things that I do recommend putting on. And it's a great thing to have on. So that is what I like to use on a lot of my classes. And I definitely recommend it for you guys using it on your classes. There you just saw. This is the part of the game where everyone is wrecking. And... I have a load star in my hand. I'm about to get a swarm. I just had a swarm in, and there's a warthog going through. There's a warship going through, and everything is just killing it right now. And it's coming down. I think if we held this game out a bit longer, that this would have been such a more successful game, because everyone was just completely dominating. So it was an amazing game, and I love these guys. So I teamed up with them, but. My recommendation for you guys is to use dexterity over extreme conditioning and got recommended for it. So this game is coming to an end if you guys want to hit the like button a bunch of times for the gameplay of 44 and 2 with the Shycom and then later picking up the SVU. If you enjoyed any of this gameplay, please hit the like button and also comment below on what you think and what you want to see in the next episode of This vs. That. This game is coming to an end if you guys want to check out my t-shirts and follow me on Twitter. That is great. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later.